What's going on guys, Berserker here, and we are here for the first, you know, video of the Magic the Gathering Mondays, of Magic Mondays. Welcome. Um, for those of you guys that are interested in uh, Magic the Gathering, this is the day for you. Uh, I have become insanely addicted to Magic the Gathering. <clears throat> I just spent like 60 bucks last night on like booster packs and like this like starter like box holder thing. It was just, it was a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, get Magic the Gathering is a little expensive, but totally worth it. So, um, yeah, I figured uh, a good way to start off this, I guess, series, sort of, uh, would be to, you know, show you the deck I'm working with right now. Uh, this is a deck I built the first day I got my, like, it was a, uh, I actually have it right here, uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, 2015 core deck building toolkit. Um, this is the first thing I started off with, and I say if you're gonna start Magic the Gathering, start with one of these. This thing, so good. Um, you can literally probably build any type of deck you wanted to just from building, just from using this toolkit, because it's it gets, it supplies you with enough lands and just everything you're probably gonna need in order to actually start building your own Magic deck. Um, this thing runs at, I want to say about, it was, I think it was 18 bucks. Um, and you can probably pick this up almost, I want to say almost anywhere. Um, Walmart, I know carries some magic. That's actually where I bought like $60 worth of last night. Um, you can also check out, if you go to, uh, magicgathering.com, um, it actually also may be, uh, you know, it might be Wizards of the Coast. Um, but either one, there's a... Store finder. I'll leave a link in the description and it you can use it. You can type in like your zip code or wherever you are and it'll locate the nearest magic shop that or near shop that carries magic cards and that could be like a comic store or just like a Walmart in general. But uh yeah, no, uh definitely a really, really, really good thing to start off with because with this I was able to build my own deck, have enough extra lands over left over to actually supply my friends with some land so I mean it's a really really good thing and I think that if you're gonna start anywhere I would definitely say this I'm not a magic expert I literally just started myself so I can't say much about how well this good how good this is but I would say it's really good it gives you 15 booster packs to start off with some 100 lands and like actually like a rule book and stuff yeah I would suggest this this is really good um, uh, thinking about it now, 20 bucks does not sound right because it gives you 15 booster packs. If it's 20 bucks, that's a little ridiculous. I think it, I swear it was 20 though. I swear it was 20. It might be 40 though. 40 doesn't sound right though. 40 doesn't sound right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I just want to show you guys what I'm working with. I guess to start off the series, just to show you guys, you know, what I've built and what I'm hoping to, you know, keep building on and improve upon with the booster pack thing that we're going to be doing and just everything like this. I will be building multiple decks. I actually have a second deck. It's actually in my uh, the box there. It's a green deck. It's a solid green deck. It's overpowered. It's freaking high hell and it's beautiful. I literally built it to beat this deck I'm using and I did that more on accident, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, maybe this deck is just really weak, but I've beaten a couple of my friends, and I came really close to beating one of my friends last night with this, but man, oh man, that deck, I was negative 17, it was negative 17, 24. I had negative 17 points by the end of my, that game with that green deck. That's insane. Negative 17 health points. That's ridiculous. So, um... Yeah, I just wanted to, I guess, show you guys what I'm working with with my main... I'm calling this my main deck. I really like this deck. First deck I ever built. I'm going to build others that are probably going to be twice as powerful, but this is gonna. This is one that's close to my heart, essentially, so I'm going to be playing with this most often. And I'm going to be building upon this. Um, and, yeah, I figured I'd show you guys what I'm working with. You guys can give me some tips, some tricks, maybe. And if all else, then you know what deck I'm working with. And... Uh, yeah, then we can just go off of there for the booster packs and we can build another deck, build our own deck sometime. 
when we get like enough booster packs or whatever. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. We'll we'll think of something. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show to the monitor to my camera the cards. Uh, it's gonna be super blurry because I actually have them in uh, card protectors. They're Pokemon card protectors. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some backstory on why I'm wearing uh, while I have card why I have these card protectors. Um, it's not really that important to tell you the truth. So, uh, a couple of my friends, uh, there's, they were looking at magic cards, or not magic cards, they were looking at Pokemon cards, and they wanted me to build a deck of Pokemon cards. I was like, okay, I'm down, I like Pokemon, Pokemon's fun, I know how to play. We get to Walmart, and we're just like, ooh, look, Magic the Gathering! Yeah, let's just say, like, $100 later, I have a box of X and Y Pokemon cards. This, uh, 60 bucks. 60 bucks for this Pokemon deck. This is garbage. This is garbage monster central. I got so many garbage mon Pokemon in this. I regret buying this so much. But that's not the point. It gave me cool freaking cases or card covers for my magic cards. Which is temporary until uh, tomorrow when I go and buy real magic car magic the gathering card protectors and stuff. I'm addicted. But, um, yeah, so I figured I'd just show them off to the screen. They're going to be a little blurry, but I will have an actual uh, image to the left here, right there. Uh, it'll be a picture of what the card is, and there may be some text over my face. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I have this all planned out in my head. I'll make it look good. It's going to be a really edited video, and it's going to take me several hours to edit, but I'm going to do it for you guys. So, um, I broke my deck down into creatures and instants, sorceries, and enchantments. Um, obviously you guys probably don't want to see all my planes cards because there's no real, like, interesting lands in there. It's literally just basic lands. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd show you my, uh, essentially the blue half of my deck. The white, it's a blue-white deck, which is a, uh, you know, water life, technically, I think is what it's considered. But it's a blue-white deck, and I'm a big fan of it. And it's super weak, but we're gonna, we're gonna fix that. Um, so yeah, uh... I guess let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? This is going to be a long video. If you guys want to, you know, if you just want to see this, just see what I'm working with. We're probably going to be doing a deck building thing every maybe week or two, every once a month or something, where we build our deck. But, you know, they're going to be long episodes. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I guess we'll let's just get started, shall we? Um, the first card we have here is Nyxborn Triton. He's an enchantment creature. Um, he has Bestow... Which is a 4-1 four, four, water uh, spell, which would uh, enchant a creature, gets 2-3, uh, plus 2-3 attack toughness, power toughness, and it's not going to focus. But uh, like I said, you'll have a, a good picture right there. Okay, the next one is Frost Lynx. Lynx? Uh, it's a creature, it's an elemental cat. It's a uh, it's a two two elemental cat. Uh, that's that glare though. There we go. Yeah, Frost Links. Really like this card. I'm a big cat fan. Fun fact: we're gonna be building a cat deck one of these days. And that's not even a lie. I'm really going to do that. Um, if once I get enough cards, um, Cloaked Siren. It's a creature, obviously. It has a flash. It's a 3-2 water. Let's see here. Get that glare off of there. Okay. 3-2. Pretty good cards. Pretty good cards so far. Um, must say the cat one. Uh, that's just because I like cats. Uh, they're just really kind of not a really good card. But you know, whatever. I'm a big cat fan. Um, Sphinx of the Chimes. Uh, creature card. Uh, it has flying. It's a 5-6. Uh, this is probably one of my better cards in my deck. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't really focus with the glare. But uh, one of my better cards in my deck. Unfortunately. But it's still pretty good. It has flying. You know, flying is a really good attribute to have on one of your better cards. Except maybe Death Touch. Death Touch is OP. OP. Um, Pearl Lang... Pearl Lake Ancient. Probably, actually, you know, most definitely the best card in my deck. 
which isn't even that good of a card, but uh, yeah, it's it's a Leviathan, which is really good. It's Flash. It's a uh, six seven. I must say, pretty good card. Pretty good card. Uh, saved my patootie a couple times. Really sucks when someone uses like a a spell and sends it to the graveyard. Makes me really sad. But you know what you gonna do about it. <clears throat> the next one is Coastline Chimera. Is a uh, Chimera, obviously. It is a 1 5. Let's see here. Focus. There we go. Coastline Chimera, 3 1 blue. Uh, it can block twice a turn. It's a 1 5. Real good defense card. Uh, you know, it only has like 4 mana requirement. So, 5 defense for 4 mana. I think it's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I'm a noob. Okay. Whirlwind Adept is my next one. It is a Dijin monk. Or Jin. Some people call it Jin. I call it Jin. Uh, the D is actually technically science, so it is a Jin. But I grew up playing uh, Golden Sun. I called it a Dijin because that's the way it's read. And I will still call it a Dijin for the rest of my life. So, backstory. Um... Whirlwind Adept, it's a 4-2, it's hexproof, it has Prowness. Let's see if it'll focus. I'm really, I'm a big fan of, like, compared to, like, Pokemon or even, like, Yu-Gi-Oh!, which both I have played, um, I am a big fan of the artwork. Like, the amount of money they probably spend on people actually making artwork for cards is pretty freaking ridiculous if I'm a, I must I don't know though like I, I feel like they spend a lot of money on just the artwork and that's freaking crazy um, okay so the next one is probably the second best card in my deck which once again is kinda sad it is a god hunter octopus it's a giant octopus monster like if I saw that thing in real life I would literally shit my pants um, it kind of, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Is, uh, it's a 5-5, uh, five, five, by the way. Um, it kind of reminds me of the, um, oh, the big creature in Final Fantasy X whose name I can't think of. It's not an octopus. It's, uh, Sin. Sin in Final Fantasy X. It kind of looks like that thing. Not gonna lie, kind of looks like that monster right there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the second best monster in my deck, which is kind of sad. Um, next up... We have Glacial Stalker. It's a 5-1 uh, water uh, elemental creature. Has a morph on it. Let's see if we. I just. I'm a big fan of this artwork. Like, I don't even know what that thing is. It's just a giant, like, tusked, like, tree elephant monster. And it, uh. It just looks really good. We're in, like, freaking Pokemon. Like, I can literally... Let me open this up really quick. Give me two seconds. Like, open up. Uh, let me grab one of these cards. Uh, let's see here. Like, I mean, nowadays they're doing a little bit more artwork as far as, like, the the uh, GX stuff and all that nonsense with the Mega Evolutions. Like, look at this thing. Look at that thing. Like, yeah, that's some artwork. But come on now. Come on now. Like, seriously? Compared to this freaking thing, like... Look, look at this. God Hunter Octopus. Look at how much detail is in this card. If it focus. Focus. Regardless of it focusing, look at all the detail you can barely see. Look at that. There's like octopus suckers. There's like the tentacle suckers. There's like little particles of light all over the place. Like, it's just, there's a lot more detail. And it's just... I feel like it's a really big thing that kind of makes magic that much better is just the amount of like time and effort they put into the artwork. Um, yeah, that's my tangent for about the artwork. Uh, next up is actually my white creatures. Um, yeah, that's all I have for my blues. I think I have like an even even deck with it's 60 cards, 30, no wait, 32 lands, right? Yeah, it's 32 lands. I want to say 12 monsters, so 12 blue, 12 white, and then the rest I think are instances, I think, is something like that, something similar to that. 
Um, I built a pretty basic deck, but um, next up is Sierra Angel. We're still recording. Okay, good. My monitor decided to shut down. Um, Sierra Angel is an angel creature. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Um, a lot of my... I, I'm assuming a lot of white decks are mostly angel. Um, like, I would say, like, ha almost half my white, I want to say, are almost angels. Um, angel cards are super OP. I'm not going to say super OP, actually, but uh, they're pretty OP with the whole flying aspect. If you can get flying down early, that'll tear your friend apart. Because you fly right over their defenses, and they can't stop you unless they have flying. It's really good. It's really, really good. Okay, um, next up, we have an enchantment creature. It's a sheep. It's a Nyx Fleece Ram. Uh, pretty good card. It's a, uh, it's a defensive card. It has a, it's a 0-5. Zero, 0 toughness, or 0-5 toughness. Um, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you gain 1 life. So... Pretty much one life every turn for just having him defend is uh, really good. Really good, I must say. Um, okay, next up we have Orseco Swift Claw. Like I said, I'm a big cat man. I'm a big cat fan. A big cat man. A big cat fan. I don't know what that's about. Um, it's a creature cat warrior. Um, it's a 3 1 creature cat warrior. Look at that guy. Oh, dude, he's just so... I'm going to zoom in on him. Come on, focus. There we go. Look at him. Ooh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, look at me. Arr. Okay, um, yeah, I've got two of those guys, so there's no point in showing you the same card twice, right? Um, so two of those guys. Um, then we got Orseco Sun Guide. He's a cat monk. Doesn't surprise you, does it? I've got cat creatures in my deck. Probably really shouldn't. Uh, Orseco Sun Guide. This guy's pretty good. He's a 2-2. Two -two. Um, whenever he becomes untapped, uh, you gain 2 life. So if I were to attack with him and then untap him my next turn, I get 2 life. Which is pretty good, I must say. Um, let's see here. Uh, next up, this is probably... Uh, probably. Oh wait. Oops. There's actually a blue in here that I missed. Um, this is probably one of my better whites uh, in my deck. I keep looking at the monitor. Sorry, I should be looking at you. Uh, this is one of the better whites in my deck. It is Quarry Colossus. It's a giant. It's a creature, and um, yeah, it's a kind of an expensive creature. Let's see here if we can uh, zoom in on this dude's beautiful, plumptious beard. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Look at that dude's beard. He's like, I eat you. Um, he's a 5'6 giant. And I'm actually going to read this to you. When Quarry Colossus enters the battlefield, put target creature into its owner's library just beneath the top card of that library where X... It says X. Top X cards of that library where X is the number of planes you control. So, pretty good card if you, one of your uh, your opponents has a super strong, uh, you know, monster on the field. You could send them down like four or five plane, like four or five cards in the deck. It's pretty handy, pretty handy, I must say. Um, next up is Heliod's Hemis Hemissary? 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 Uh, there's a lot of cards I can't pronounce, okay? Come on, focus. Okay, doesn't want to focus. It's an elk monster. Elk creature, it's an enchantment creature. Okay, it's not going to focus. Um, it is a 3-3. Three, three. Let's see if I can get that at least. It's a 3-3 three, three monster. Oh, of course I can. Okay, well you have a picture up on the screen anyways. Um, it's a 3-3 three, three monster. It has Bestow on it, which can grant 3-3 three, three to a, another creature on your field. Uh, if you turn it, the monster itself into an enchantment. Uh, which is quite good. Quite good. Um, Seraphae of the Masses. Uh, it's another angel. And... Okay. Um, this creature is pretty cool. I haven't actually had a chance to actually use this yet. But uh, 
Seraphay, the masses, power, and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. So, uh, I guess the better you're doing, the better this card is. Let's see if we can focus on this one. This glare, though, dude. Nope. Doesn't want to focus. Okay, well, Angel Creature, you have a picture on the screen, and it's a star star, obviously, because its uh, attack is based on its, you know, spell ability. Um, Agrius Angel, it's a creature angel, of course, flying. Uh, I may have already shown this one, I don't think I did. It's a 5-5, five five, um, which is actually quite a, probably one of my better whites as well. Dude, I swear to you, you will focus. You will focus on this one. Look at all the detail. You don't get to ch chip out on this one. Come on. Okay, doesn't want to focus. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for not focusing. Um, yeah, it's a 5-5 five five angel. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I would say, like I said, one of my better whites. Um, and we'll actually save this guy into the end, uh, because he was a blue and I screwed up and I didn't see him before. Um, next is Sky Spear Cavalier, 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 I think it's Cavalier. Um, it's another, it's a human soldier, surprisingly, it has flying, it's flying on like a freaking chocobo monster. I never even noticed that. Um, it has double strike and it's a 2-2. Two -two. You will focus this time. Look at this thing. Come on. You want to focus. You don't want to focus. Look at my beautiful card, you! Okay, well, I guess you can kind of see the Chocobo Monster. That's what I was really shooting for, was the Chocobo Monster. It's really, really blurry. I should probably do these with... Oh, there it focused! Look at him. Look at him in all of his glory. That's really cool. It's actually a human soldier, which I actually, the entire time I was playing this, I thought it was a an angel. Um, yeah, it's a 2-2. Two -two, double strike. Really good. Um, yeah, flying creatures are pretty good. Pretty. If you had a flying death touch, that would just be GG right there, pretty much. Um, next, once again, uh, Leonin Snarecaster. Cat creature. There we go. That time I focused right away. Leninin Snarecaster. It's a cat soldier. Um, yeah, it's a 2-1. Relatively good early game card to get. Um, this card... This card saves my booty booty almost every single game. Uh, it's an artifact creature. It's a defender. So, pretty much, if you play Magic, you know what a defender is. But... Uh, three of any mana. Get ourselves here. Uh, I actually forgot to look at the name, so I'm gonna just let this focus, and then we're gonna read it. I need to like cover up my whole face. Okay, focus. There we go. Guardians of Melitis. Melitis. Uh, Golem, with a. I need to stop getting closer. It's a zero six defender for three mana. Which, you get this in your first hand. Ooh, by the third turn, you are set. You are defended for at least six more turns. Because to get out <clears throat> enough pointage to kill a six defender or enough monsters takes a couple turns. So, it's a really, really good defensive card. And the... Uh, like, I guess I, I lied. I have, like, three really good uh, water monsters. Water creatures, sorry. Um, and this, somehow this guy was in my white pile, which I thought I got them all out. Um, Mahamorti Jin. He's a creature. He's a Jin. He's flying. And just look at that. Look at that. This dude will wreck your shit. Come on. Still focused to the back, that's why. Come on. Come 
There we go. Now it's focused. Mahamorti Jin. Look at all that detail in the clouds and the monster. He's just so buffed. So buffed. He's a 6 summon, 2 water. So 4, 2 water. Uh, he's flying. He's a 5, 6. He's a... Uh, he's pretty good. Pretty good. Get him out there with my Pearl Lake Serpent. Uh, Pearl Lake in Ancient. Ooh, I'm be doing some damage. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, that's my blue-white creatures. Obviously, there's nothing above, I think, a 5-6 in there, which, you know, is probably not really good. Uh, I know in my green deck, there's, like, two or three 8-8s. Eight uh, I think it's, like, the Terra Stomper. I think is actually what it's called. Um, that thing is OP. That's so OP. It has Trample on it. It's just so freaking good. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, that's the creatures. Next, we're going to be moving on to uh, my instance, artifacts, and enchantments of my deck. Um, first things first, Last Breath. It's an instant card. I'm just, I'm seriously trying to focus these, and it's not working out too well. This one actually focused really quickly, though. Last Breath, instant. Uh, exile target creature with power two or less. The controller gains four life. Really good card because if you get this near the beginning, it's a two, it's a one, uh, it's a two summon, one white, uh, or I guess planes card, Ele mana. I'm, I'm my magic is all jumbled up in my head. Um, yeah, if you get this early game, you can actually like protect yourself from a monster attack or just one of their monsters on the field at all. Um, Traveler's amulet. It's an artifact. It takes one to summon. Sacrifice Traveler's Amulet. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Another good uh, card to get early game because it allows you to essentially pull out another land. You want to build up those lands as quick as you can, obviously. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I like it. I've used it a couple times. Uh, let's see here. Nullify. Now, this is kind of what my deck is sort of famous for. It's not really famous, though. It's famous for me. Is uh, pretty much any time one of my opponents, namely, you know, the two people I play with, uh, try to do anything as far as, like, a spell or just attack me in general, I just stop the attack altogether. Because, uh, you know, blue is obviously really good for, you know, magic uh, prevention. Spell prevention. Um, so nullify. It's an instant. Look at this dude. He's just getting speared in the freaking stomach by some like two pronged fork. Uh, counter target creature or aura spell. Uses several. That thing has saved my life many a time. Along with uh, negate here. Negate. It counters target non creature spell. Um, it's pretty good. It's a uh, two summon. It's an instant. Once again, this card has saved my Batuti Tuti several times. Uh, let's see here. Dis dissipate. Um, it's another instant. Counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into the owner's graveyard. Which is really good. Dude, that focus so freaking quickly. Uh, it's got like a, I don't know, I, I want to say it's like a dog, but it's almost like a cat creature. Pretty good. Um, Aqueous Form. I've had this in my deck for a while, and I haven't used it once. I should probably take it out. Um, it's an enchantment. It enchants a creature. It's an aura, sorry. Aqueous Form. Um, enchanted creature can't be blocked whenever an enchanted creature attacks. Uh, scary one. So look at the top card of your hand and put it uh, at the bottom of your library. Every time I see this card, I think of Avatar, The Last Airbender, or Avatar Korra, or Legend of Korra, I believe is actually what it's called. Um, because, you know, water bending. This looks like the dude's just straight up water bending his urine out of his cage and sucking the life out of this dude. Which is pretty freaking cool. You should watch Last Avatar. Pretty good. Or The Legend of Korra. The ending kind of blows, but... You know what? The anime itself was quite good. Um, okay, next up is Righteous Authority. It's an enchantment. Uh, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets 1-1 one, one for each card in its controller's hand. 
This card saved my life last night. Oh, it didn't really save my life. It made me look less scrubbish last night is how I should actually put that. Um, uh, at the beginning of your draw step, Enchanted Creature Controlled Controller, uh, that player draws an additional card. And this guy's actually my, I think my one and only multicolor, I want to say. Actually, you know what, I have one more multicolor, I think. Uh, but yeah, he's one of the very few multicolor cards I have in my deck. I don't know, I, I'm not a big fan of the multicolor. Like, obviously I have a multicolor deck. There's not a whole lot of, uh, come on, focus back on me. Um, there's not a whole lot of good. I haven't found any good, really, multicolors. Um, I know there's some that are pretty, pretty good, but they're, like, tri-colors. That just isn't my thing. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right for me. Um, <sighs> we're gonna save that one for last, because that card is just so freaking delicious. I wish I had that last night. Um, enchanted creature. Okay, so pin to the earth. Oh, I never even noticed. That's like a turtle monster. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets minus six, minus zero. So I can pretty much turn a super strong enemy into pretty much garbage nonsense. So, uh, yeah. It's like a turtle monster. I can't even tell what that is. But, look, like, you can kind of see a head of, like, something that looks like a coconut monster being spin, like... Uh, it's the same thing that speared that other guy, like the two-pronged fork. Yeah, that thing. I don't know what that's actually called. Um, and then, Whelming Wave. This thing, if I had this last night, if I drew this, if I had the heart of the cards, holy crap, I would have just, my life would have been set. Ha! Oh. Um, it's a sorcery. Return all creatures to their owner's hands, except for krakens, leviathans, octopuses, and serpents. This actually wouldn't have done that as good. Never mind. But this is a really good card. If you're fighting with anyone that doesn't have blue in their deck, whoo, pretty good. Um, and yeah, that's. Uh, oh wait, we actually still have some. Wait. Yeah, we still have some. I, I didn't organize these. That's my problem. Um, next we have Divine Verdict. Um, it's an instant. Destroy target. Attacking or blocking creature. Let's see here. Let's see if we can focus this. There we go. Divine verdict. Dude's like punching two pillars for no reason. He's just super pissed. It's a pretty good card. I've used it once on an occasion. I've only dueled like six times, maybe. So don't hold it to me if I haven't used a card, okay? Um, here's my other multicolor card. Uh, Etheria's Enlightenment. It's an enchantment aura. Uh, enchanted enchant creature. When Inferia Enlightenment enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on enchanted creature. Enchanted creature has flying, which is just freaking cool. Uh, whenever the creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may return Inferia's Enlightenment to its owner's hand. Under your control. I don't know what that means, but yes, pretty good. That that last statement confuses me. I don't have to think about that. I'll have to ponder upon it. Um, and next we have Meditation Puzzle. It's an instant. Um, you can use Convoy with it, which is quite good. Convoke, sorry, not Convoy. Convoke, which allows me to tap my monsters towards an actual mana for this card, which is pretty good. Um... And essentially all it does is it gives me 8 life. Which, you know, I, it's pretty, actually really good. It's really good. It's a 5 summon. And you gain 8 life. Pretty good, I must say. Pretty good. Um, let's see here. Countermind. Countermand. Countermended. Mond. Countermond. Countermond. Um, it's an instant. And counter target spell... Its controller puts the top four cards of his or hers library into her graveyard. His or hers graveyard. And it's a dude just straight up getting struck by lightning. So, pretty cool. Um, like I said, it's my deck is kind of really... It's not really specifically built to counter target spells. But I do have those in there just because there's really hardly anything else I really want in there. Um, and then we have Mortals Adore 
Ardor. It's an instant. Target creature gets 1-1 one, one and gains lifelink until the end of the turn. Damage dealt by this by the creature also causes its controller to gain that much life. So, if I put this on like a 12-12 monster, I'd get like 12 health back. That would be pretty good. Okay, well it doesn't want to focus. But it's like a dude it's like the dude from three hundred fighting some like tentacle plant monster. Um Yeah, no, uh that's pretty much it for my instance. Obviously you guys don't want to see my planes cards because like there's a lot of them. These are all planes, like they're just they're just white blue planes cards. Nothing special. I don't have any special land summons or anything like that um but yeah i mean pretty much that's pretty much my like my blue white deck for the most part um the deck i actually kind of consider my main deck um i do have like a green deck built the one that's super op and just destroys this deck but that's a deck for another time um yeah and hopefully you guys enjoy this if you did don't forget to leave a rating down below as always it just kind of gives you a brief idea of what my deck's kind of looking like um and if you guys would like, I can, uh, I don't know, give you kind of a tutorial on how to play Magic if you're interested at all in how to play it. Uh, I was also kind of thinking of doing something like that, kind of a tutorial-esque series. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, that's pretty much my main deck for the most part. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing some booster pack stuff. The video will also be up later today if it's not out already. And uh, if you're interested, check it out. We're going to be opening up six booster packs every week. And with those six booster packs, we're going to be building upon this deck. We'll be building some new decks. Uh, I have one deck idea in general that I really want to build. Um, and slowly but surely, surely we will build towards our ultimate goal of building a 60-card cat deck. 60-card cat deck is the ultimate goal in this whole magic adventure. Why? I have no idea. But... Regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!